Teacher and coach tonight remains on leave after video appears to show him headbutting a ref over the weekend. And now an Indiana lawmaker is pushing for a measure to help protect all refs here. That's right. He says that high school refs have personally asked him for better protection from the state house as those types of incidents are becoming much too common. From Sarasota five years ago to West Park, Florida four years back to Texas this past fall, high school officials assaulted by coaches, players, or parents. All past the occasional boo or a heckle that they're used to, incidents becoming too common. You know, they're always worried, if, whether it be walking to the car after a game or during the game, that uh, there could be something that could happen that could be very violent. Indiana State Senator Ron Alting says two officials have personally asked him to get a specific punishment on the books. 23 states already have specific laws protecting refs and officials. Indiana does not. When people know that there are certain consequences, then uh, then I think you 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 know you you're more aware and in tune what's happening. Alting's bill would make battery on a sports official a Class A misdemeanor, punishable by up to a year behind bars and $5,000 in fines. And while no one's physically assaulted an Indiana high school ref or official to warrant charges yet, it could only be a matter of time. Being an official, and there's nothing like that. I mean, you're shrouded by hundreds, if not thousands, of people, and uh, uh, it's just the times that we live in. We have security there. Uh, that itself should let you know the importance of having such a bill. We just had an incident uh, in Pennsylvania where the coach headbutted uh, uh, the official on the court. So uh, I think it's something that is greatly needed. Uh, more so today than any time in, in history. And a similar measure at the State House actually didn't make it out of committee last year. This one, though, is now scheduled for a hearing at the end of the session.